Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome to today's session. This is a Mr. PTP, aka PTKO, aka Price Trap Trading Training Session. I want to make sure you get value. Make sure you have a notepad and pen because we say note takers are the money makers. All right, I'm excited for this because normally every single Tuesday at the same time, 10:20, I do trading psychology. Trading psychology is much more important than the skill set. Because if you have the skill set, but you don't understand your mindset, you're going to lose money. Simple as. But I also want to give you value by teaching you how to trade. Okay, guys, I've been very blessed to learn this strategy, what I utilize, and I'm, I'm becoming consistently profitable. Oh, thank you, Onella. Onella says, Tuesday session was fire. Guys, it's on my YouTube page. Talking about my YouTube page, please, Pammy, put it in the chat box my YouTube link. Guys, everyone, let's connect, subscribe, because sometimes I do not post my videos in the groups. I literally upload it to YouTube and you will get a notification. So guys, watch. I've had so much feedback from people that are blessed by my trading psychology. So let this be a blessing to someone else. If you invite someone new onto the platform, okay, allow them to be blessed as well. People from other teams. <laughs> I've had people from other teams. I'm talking about different, like not even MA Finance. I'm, I'm over there. People have been messaging me saying they've been blessed. So guys, please, 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 um, please, 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 subscribe. And to my IG handle, Pammy, if you can put it in the group chat, please. It's simple. Pammy's going to do in about 30 seconds because she's quick fire like that. Um, but it's at Kofi underscore Texel. Okay, at Kofi underscore Texel. Texel stands for Team Excel. So guys, I'm excited again to be up on this call with you. Please, we need to promote this. We need this. Everybody needs a trading journal. This is what's going to change your life. Your trading journal is going to change your life. So Pam, if you can put... Look, I, I, I'll take it seriously, guys. I write my notes. I write my notes. This is what's made me become a close to six-figure earner. Hey, my daughter's trying to call me. Janai, I'm on the Zoom. <laughs> my daughter's trying to... <laughs> my daughter's trying to be involved. I love my princess. All right. Get yourself a trading journal. What does a blank page look like? Like this. That's what a blank page looks like. All right. So Pammy, if you've noticed, she's put all the links in the group chat. Aspirebookcompany at gmail.com. Okay. You've got my Instagram handle and you've also got my, uh, my YouTube channel. Guys, do all three. Subscribe, subscribe. Can I pay? Yeah, email and they'll sort it out. Catch up. Yeah, email, email. <laughs> All right, email, email. All right, guys, again, there's 51 people on the call in the morning. I'm excited. Um, we always start off with what you're grateful for. And people don't realize, people don't realize that your attitude determines your altitude, yes or yes. So people have wrote, I'm grateful for life, gift of life. I'm grateful for my family from Bill. Cara says, grateful for life, ability to change life. This academy, this session, thank you, honored. I'm grateful for my daughters. Oh, who's one tomorrow? Oh, happy birthday. I'm grateful for the gift of grace, amen. I'm grateful to be learning. And then I'm grateful for every day I'm here, still healthy. So we have to understand, guys, you have to be grateful. You have to be grateful. It's deep. And I, I did a, a, a team leaders training, people that want to be P150. And I went deep yesterday. I talked about the spiritual and the physical. And people were, some people were kind of blown away by the revelation I was given about everything is spirit first before it's, it's made manifest. So how you think is who you're going to become. What you say is who you're going to become. So how you are thankful in the morning is going to determine whether you have a good trading day or not. And yes, I'm going to get to the charts. But it all determines by how you think and your posture of your heart. If you notice, all the top traders on our platform, they always say, we're going to have a phenomenal trading day. Millie Mills is always saying, we're going to have a phenomenal trading day. And we're like, well, we haven't even traded yet. But she's speaking it out. She's saying, we're going to have a phenomenal trading day. Every day I'm thankful because I know I'm going to make money. Even if I lose money, I'm making money. Who understands? Because... You're literally paying for lessons. When you lose money, you're paying for lessons in the market. Who understands? When you lose money in the market, you're paying for lessons. That's all you're doing. You're paying for lessons. Each time I trade, I'm learning another lesson. Each time I trade, I'm learning another lesson. Because 
what happens with this company and with you guys as traders and myself as traders, you need to be consistent because what it is, your mind, a lot of mindsets are not ready. And not, my, my daughter's was crying, oh, Isaac, sorry. A lot of people on mindset is not ready. So therefore they cannot achieve their greatness. So what happens is you lose a few trades and then you quit. And you say trading doesn't work. Oh, I blew my account. Trading doesn't work. Yeah, it does work. You don't work. I'll say it again. Trading does work, but you don't work. And that's where you have to begin to change your perception, change your mindset. That's why, again, trading psychology is the utmost important. So subscribe to my page, watch all my trading videos, okay, um, and my trading psychology videos, and get value and share it with your teams. All right? All right, all right, all right. Let's get to the charts. Let's get to the charts. Let's get to the charts. All right, let me share my screen. I don't know why my daughter's screaming like that. I do apologize. Um, let's get to the charts. Share screen. Right, put a one in the chat box if you can see my screen. Put one in the chat box if you can see my screen. You should be able to see my chart. Okay, amazing, amazing. All right. So guys, again, make sure you're writing all these notes. Make sure you're writing all these notes. So the title for today is looking for entries. So, but first and foremost, before you even get to that stage, you need to understand the trading strategy you want to utilize. Now, I'm actually going to turn my screen off so you guys can focus just on the charts, all right? So, you need to understand the trading strategy that you want to personally utilize, all right? So, please, I'm going to have the chat box open so I can see if there's any chats. And guys, write that down. So you have to make up in your mind your personal strategy. But there's no harm in learning my strategy by utilizing another. You understand that there's no harm in learning my strategy by utilizing another. So this is called price trap. And Christopher Derrick, so make sure you're writing all these notes down. Christopher Derrick is the author and finisher of this strategy. So check him out on go live. The I am Christopher Derrick. So this is called price check. Some people are new and they've never known what this is. They just jumped on a, a, a Zoom call for trading. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you my process. I'm going to show you my process of what I do because if anyone's in my trading group, because I have um, a trading group, they know my win to loss ratio is very high. If you've got value from my trading group and you've, you've made money, put a seven in my chat, put a seven in the chat box. Lee's made money. Is that just Lee? No one else? Okay, amazing. So you can see from the sevens that are coming into the chat box, people are making money from my strategy. Now, the reason I call it my strategy is because I've tweaked it from Christopher Derrick. What I want you to understand as a trader, and write this down, you can, take strategies from people, implement it, make it your own. Take strategies from people, implement it, and then make it your own. You have to, as a trader, you have to make it personal to you. Okay? So sometimes how I trade, it may not suit your character. It may not suit your personality. Who understands? And this, again, this is all psychology. This may not suit you, but you have to look at what works for you and how you can cope. For example, I am not a swing trader. I don't like being in trades for days. I'm not a position trader. I don't like being in trades for days, weeks, or months. I don't like that. I'm an intraday trader, a few hours, or I'm a scalper. I like to be in it for like, like yesterday, I, I took a trade and it hit TP within 36 minutes. I was done. I went to my team, guys, I'm not trading no more. I'm done. I'm not looking at no more charts, I'm done. Because I don't like being in charts uh, or trades all day. If you like to be on a trade all day, put a five in the chat box, if you like it, because that's not me. You have to understand your characters. If you don't mind being in trades all days, all day. All 
Oh wow, no one put a five, so no. Nah, mm -hmm. TP one, TP two, and done. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, Kara, okay, Kara, Kara likes the long term trades. You're blessed, mate. You're highly favored. Yeah, stitch is me. I'm pip and dip. Me, 20 pips and I dip. So again, you can understand what type of, you, you, no, you have to understand what type of trader you are. Kara likes the long term setups, not me. So that means Kara has the durability and sustainability to be in a trade for a long time. Me, I just want to take the cash and run, you know? Take the cash and run. So let's go step by step by my process. So this is what I do. I log onto the harmonic scanner. Okay, so write this down. Because if you want to trade like me or have my type of setups, I just want to let you know what I do. I was in a trade the other day and um, I said, guys, it's going to be for a long-term buy. And people didn't understand how I knew. It's literally the harmonic scanner. So guys, really utilize these products because these products are here to help. You see, Christopher Derrick, not Christopher, Derrick, Christopher Terry, he made millions off of the harmonic scanner. He's a multi-millionaire. He's a multi-millionaire. Hold on one second, guys. I'm just going to mute my, mute my mic one second. I was just checking in with my daughter. She fell over and she hurt herself. That's why she's been screaming. I was just a caring dad. <laughs> All right. So let's look at the setups. When you're looking at the harmonic scanner, yeah, she's cool, she's cool man. She's cool. Mrs. is there. When you're looking at the, at the harmonic scanner for PTP, price trap, PTKO, and it stands for Price Trap Knockout or Price Trap Kofi. Someone made it up. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just use that name. You're looking for long-term setups. Why? Because you're looking to gain the most amount of pips. And you also want to make sure when the trend changes, you have an optimal opportunity. So sometimes my trades can go to, go to 100 pips. I don't ever stay in it for that long, you know, but the trade has the opportunity to go that far. So if you are a long-term trader, you could, you could definitely utilize that. So what I'll do, I'll look through, through currency pairs and on the right-hand side is the broker. So you literally can change. So I go to FX Choice normally and I have a look, see what it's saying. So both FX Choice and the, and the other trader trade, um, I can't remember the broker, says long-term drop. Now, I, I love this. I love this. Look, from entry, it's telling me there's a potential of 123 pips. Who understands? There's a potential of 123 pips. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show you how I mark it up. And this is for people that are beginners. I mark it up, when I first started, I mark it up on the scanner. And then I will transfer it to um, TradingView. And then I will show you my entries from previous trades. All right. So let's have a look. This is how I learn. So again, step one, you go to the harmonic scanner. Step two, you go on to the one hour chart. Step three, you are looking for trades that have longevity. That's the key. And with the harmonic scanner, when the, the D's at the top, you sell. That's very simple. When the D's at the bottom, you buy. Okay. So we utilize the harmonic scanner and then we mark up our charts. So I'm now looking for zones. So what I will then do, I will go to the drawing tools over here. This one, sorry. Horizontal line. 
and I will draw a zone. So I'll do it from the wick. See the body. Let's make it a bit thicker. Let's change the color. Let's make it red. All right, can you guys see that? All right. Uh, put a one in the chat box if you can see that. All right, so I'm looking for support and resistance. So first and foremost, I don't want to go too basic because people need to <laughs> get the injuries. You need to, first of all, start off by knowing support and resistance. So if you haven't learned that, go and watch the, the videos on I Am Mastery and learn support and resistance. So I go from the whip to the body, okay, on the one hour. Then I'm looking for another support and resistance. And I'm not really going to spend much time on how to draw zones because that's on my YouTube channel, okay? So do some testing, do some training, go on to golive.im, watch Christopher Derrick, he will help you understand how to draw zones. But just trust me guys, I'm drawing zones. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back in time to see whether that's a good zone. highlight it. Hopefully you guys can see that zone. Are the zones usually where the X points? No, 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 no. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. Yeah, it could be anywhere. But again, for you to utilize that, we're gonna to have to understand your support and resistance. And it, guys, go from my videos, go from my channel. All the videos are there, how to draw zones. I don't wanna to spend too much on this because I wanna really get to entries. All right, because I can break things down too deep. All right, can we now see on the, on the scanner, I've got my, my zone, my floor, and I've got my ceiling, okay? So for us, for me to take the trade, it has to break my floor, retest, and then drop, okay? Let me draw some lines on here. So you want it to break the level and then retest. Wait, let me change this color. This means it's so thin. All right. Break the level, come. Why isn't it working? Come back and then drop. Yeah? So you want it to break this level of a floor, retest in the zone, and then drop. <laughs> Jamie's got revelation. <laughs> Jamie, no. The harmonic scanner, this is the best tool to practice. Draw it on the harmonic scanner first. And that, that, that's what's going to help you with your zones. Yeah? Or we want it to break the ceiling, come back, and then go forward. All right? So I'm showing you how Christopher Derrick literally does his trade. So you want to enter around the yellow circle. Okay? So you want it to break the level structure come back to the zone, anywhere in the yellow circle, or might be a tiny bit above it, you take the entry for a sell. You take it to drop. And the reason we're doing that is simply because you want to be able to confirm that it's actually gonna move in your direction. Now, you know the market can do whatever it wants to do. It can do whatever it wants to do. But once you wait for it to break structure, you have a higher probability. So in the chat box, please write the word down, higher probability. All right, Lee, cool, no worries. I'm, I'm recording this anyway, so have a good day at work. You want a higher probability. So that's why I tend not to take the harmonic scanner trade just by itself, because I would rather wait for it to break structure, retest, than I have a higher probability. That's why my, a lot of my trades win. Not every one of my trades win, but I have a higher probability, and that's why it's called an edge. So whenever you have a trading strategy, you want to make sure you have an edge. An edge is something, it's just that, and write this down, it's a set 
of repeat price action. That's it. A set of repeat price actions. So I'm looking for consistency in patterns. I want to see the same thing happen over and over again. That's why you've got to follow your trading rules and your trading plan. You have to stick to it to a T. Let me tell you why. I'll write this down. We are fighting a random market. Okay, so the market is random. You have to have a set of rules that tame the randomness of the market. If you don't, it's going to be a problem. That's why when you break your trading rules, you're in it for a disaster. I hope someone's caught that revelation. Once you break your trading rules, it's, it's, it's game over. Because you are already at war with a random market. We can't predict where it's going to go. We just need a higher level of probability. That's why once you understand your win to loss ratio, you're good to go. That's why I don't worry anymore if I lose a trade because I know I'm going to win in the end. Like I trade for the end of the month. My mindset is not for today's trade. It's for, um, what's today's, the 27th of September. I want to check within a month's time, out of my win to loss, am I in profit? That's what you need to be working on. And right in the chat box, I am a series of trades trader. I am a series of trades trader. Write that in the chat box. Let's go to um, let's go to the currency pair. I'm a series of trades trader. Right. So that simply means stop focusing on the one trade. Stop focusing on today's trade because that's why I personally, I don't get really excited when you show me your trading account and you made money. I don't care. Like, you know, I'm, I'm really blatant. I don't care. What I care about is show me at the end of August. Are you in profit? If you cannot show me that you're in profit from the 1st of August to the, the 31st, I'm not interested. I'll say that again. If you cannot show me from the 1st of September to the end of September, that you're in profit, I'm not interested because it simply means you show me good trades on a good day. Who understands and who's got value from what I've just said? I want something to switch and click in your psychology. If you show me you made money today, I'm proud of you, don't get it twisted, I'm proud of you. But at the end of the month, if you're not in profit, you've wasted your time. You've wasted your time. Because imagine, oh, well, you've got to see this as a business. People, and this is why people don't understand the deepness that I go to in regards to trading psychology. And people think it's a joke. There's like nearly 2,000 people in this academy and only 80 people join my trading psychology. And they, they, they don't understand why they lose. So that's why, guys, I want you to promote it. Promote it like crazy. Say so you, you have to be on Kofi's trading psychology Zooms because you will not survive as a trader. It's very simple you will not survive as a trader. Who wants, to make a, who wants to make a million trading? Who wants to make a million trading? Okay, all right, cool. I'm seeing people saying, I wanna make a million trading. All right, cool. Well, then you need to elevate your mindset. I'm being so serious. I'm being so serious. I'm being so serious. If you want to be a million millionaire trader, you need to elevate how you think. And people, it will make sense. When you guys start losing and you remember what Uncle K is saying, people are like, oh yeah, Kofi said that. <laughs> this is deep. And guys, I wish the level of mentorship that I give you guys. I wish someone did it for me. I really wish someone was there to like, Kofi, don't do this. And Kofi, don't make that mistake. And Kofi, like, I really wish someone was there for me. But I, I had to be the um, sacrifice so that you guys don't make my mistakes. Who's grateful for this academy? Let me see. So Onela says, what am I doing? I'm literally doing the exact same thing that I did on the harmonic scanner. I've gone to AUDJPY and 
because I know how to do it on the scanner, I've just transported it over to TradingView. And guys, what it is, people struggle so much with zones because they haven't practiced, number one. Number two, they haven't done my homework, which is due on the four hour. And number three, they haven't utilized the scanner. Okay. Can this be done without the harmonic scanner? Yes, of course it can. It can. But then you're... Yeah, it can be done without the harmonic scanner. You don't need the harmonic scanner. You do not need it. But if you want to become a successful trader, you will use it. Because if you don't understand zones and you don't understand like reversal and reversal patterns, you could be in a trade thinking, oh, okay, I've made two zones and it's broken structure. And you're like, why have I lost? I get a lot of people message me saying, oh, Cole, I've lost. I did exactly what you're meant to do but I still lost. I'm like, yeah, because your zones weren't correct. Because this looks easy. It really does look easy. Some people have got a natural knack. Some people can get zones like it's nothing, all right? But some people really struggle with zones. Because I, I get people message me every day, show me their zones. I'm like, that zone is way too big. Or that zone is way too small. Or you, you can't see the, the candle structure. Like, and so you have to practice. You have to practice. But yeah, you can, you can do it without the harmonic scanner. But again, ADJPY, I'm now looking for sales. Whereas if you went for a buy, I don't know the potential. What's the potential? And again, you've got to be able to identify how far it can possibly go. Let's go to the four hour. So again, what I would promote, again, I'm just teaching you what I've done. I literally copied Christopher Derrick, whatever he did, done, I did. You know, so I literally, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing up above. There's nothing up above. Let's go to the one day. And this is called top down analysis. I'm going from the higher time frame to the lower time frame. So, look, this has got to its highest point for a very long time. So, the last time it was higher. was up here so when was this 17th of april 2019 that so that was the last time on the daily chart that it broke this level yeah this was the last time it broke this level oh thank you um Katerine. um yeah so it broke this level and it got, the last time it was here, it was 17th of April, 2019. So that's why the harmonic scan is an amazing tool. And again, you want high probability trade. You don't want to say, oh, price drop doesn't work because you've made up your own zones. You haven't utilized the scanner because the scanner is simply looking, it's, it's an algorithm looking, all right, it's looking for reversal areas, high reversal areas. It's not always going to work. It's not always going to work, but that's why you draw the zones. But again, you need to have an understanding of market structure, market geometry, to know how far your trade can potentially go. And that's where people are failing technically. Am I making sense? Let me know if I'm making sense. Let me know if there's nothing that, something you don't understand as well. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So yeah, that's why, out of habit, I go to the scanner. I just go to the scanner every morning, log on to the scanner. I utilize the product. Look, I look for good setups. This is also the thing, guys. You want good setups. You don't want average trades. You don't want trades that's going to go five pips. So even for those that have, have, have been following me, even if I send you a trade and I'm like, guys, this is a counter trend trade, which simply means it's going against the trend maybe get 10 pips for the first TP or 12 pips for the first TP. There's still a massive range. So for example, even if it's not just a counter trend trade and we've literally, the trend is reversing, you still have a probability of getting 50 pips or 60 pips or 70 pips or 80 pips. But I'm saying for my strategy being cautious, I'm going for 12. For my first TP and my second trade, I'll allow it to go for as long as it can go. All right. So I hope that's clear. Harmonic scanner, utilize it, draw your zones. Jesse's asking, what does a good setup mean? This is a good setup. 
these pips. Can you see that? The amount of pips that you can potentially get. Look at the drop. A good setup is something that it, it, it literally follows your plan and there's a potential of 102 pips. Who would like to get 102 pips? Yeah, all right, cool. That's a good setup. And to answer the question, do I pay much attention to the indicators? Yes. Yes and no. This is the only indicator I really use, which is called MACD. Okay. If you look through my YouTube channel, um, I think it's chart markings one, chart markings two, chart markings three, four, five, I can't remember which one it was. But I break down how to use the MACD. So I'm always going to refer you to my YouTube channel because I really want to touch. Thank you, Pammy. Um, to go through my, 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 my videos, I really want to touch on entries. All right. So guys, Point number one, have you understood how I mark up my zone? So point number one, I go to Harmonic Scanner. I find a currency pair that has a good setup. I draw on the scanner. I used to draw on the scanner, but I can see now without drawing it. But when you're starting off refresh, draw on the scanner to get your zones. Then transfer it to Trading View, mark up your zones, set alerts. And I'm waiting for price to break this level. So what I'm actually going to do now, I'm actually going to mark this trade up. I'm going to set an alert. Guys, pay for pay, trading view. Don't be cheap. It's only like 15 pound a month. So I'm gonna set an alert, crossing down. So when it breaks down, when it breaks it, I'm gonna be alerted. Then I'm gonna get ready to jump in the trade. I'm not gonna set an alert for the top because I'm, I'm really not interested in the buyers. Um, I'm a bit concerned. It might go up, retest, and then come back down again, or it might go up, might go 10 pips and then retest. So I'm more concerned with the sell. All right? So look, you can see what I've done. So Mary says, which educator best understand market geometry? Manny Quinones, yeah, yeah. You want to understand. So um, go to Manny Quinones to understand. He's a G, like he... He's someone, he could just trade. How many strategies has this guy's got? I don't know. He's got so many strategies. Go through his boot camp. He will break it down. He is an amazing educator. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so Manny Canones is a G. He's a G, literally. For this strategy, watch Christopher Derrick. Oh, thank you, Pammy. Pammy's on point. Look, educator Manny Key. Manny, yeah, watch that. For this strategy, you want to follow Christopher Derrick. So Manny Canones, learn how to trade and understand geometry. Follow him. To get this strategy, watch Christopher Derrick and just copy him. Okay. And go to some of his older videos. There's a, there's a particular video I need to find that he really, really broke it down. I need to find that. All right? Of how to draw zones. <laughs> yeah, Pammy's my sis. I've taken her under my wing. So, yeah, she's, I'm training you up to be on point. Talking about being on point, I was in the gym today. I know some of you don't believe in God, but I'm an ordained minister, so I believe in him. And God said to me, son... Do it properly or don't do it at all. All right? That's what he said to me. He went, Kof, do it properly or don't do it at all. And those that heard my voice message this morning, I was crying. And if you know me, you know I don't cry. But it's deep. It's deep. So what I'm going to say to you guys is if you're going to trade, do it properly or don't do it at all. I don't want to hear complaints. I don't want to hear you blew your account. I don't care for losses. I care that you win. Let me break that down. I don't care for losses. I care that you win. Win in your mindset. Win in your personal development. Yuri, actually, I need to send you this message because God told me to send it to you, so I'm sending it to you in a bit. All right? Actually, let me send it to you whilst I'm on the phone. Because you're going to hear my heart, bro. This is deep. Um, but in the bottom line is, all I care about is that you win as a trader. 
I care about you're connected to our family, Team Excel, AFA. I care that you win as a trader. You win as a trader. And if you complain, you can either make a million pounds or make a million excuses. A million pound or a million excuses. So that's why I'm, I'm disciplined. I'm like, you know what? Let's put the grind in. Let's put the work in now so that a year's time, we don't have to work anymore. A year's time, we don't have to work anymore. I don't work anymore. I trade. 20 minutes yesterday, or 35 minutes, I, I was done. I want us to work together as a family to jump on these sessions, jump on all the trading sessions. I'm going to say to you, choose one strategy, work wholeheartedly with that, but jump on. I'm still learning. I'm learning smart money. And, it, and I will do another trading session talking about smart money concepts, utilizing this skill. All right. But I just want to give you encouragement. Let's stop murmuring and complaining. You lost five pounds. <laughs> it was only five pounds. It's going to come back to you. Let's, let's, Build ourselves up with personal development. Let's watch my trading psychology videos. Also listen to the video that I put in the group chats from Kimberly Torres about your trading journal. Let's build our self-esteem up and let's win. Who's ready to win? Pammy, send that to me as well. Who's ready to win? Who's ready to win? Who's ready to win? Who's ready to win? I want to see. Who's ready to win? Who's ready to retire their parents? Who's ready to become a six-figure earner? Who's ready to have a big trading account? Who's ready to have 100K, 100K, and make 25K for the month profit? My cousin's done that. Once you learn this strategy, you then apply. If you're, if you're struggling financially, you then apply for a funded account. It's already done. I trade big accounts, guys. People, you know, guys, people always message me. They, they're throwing money at me. They're throwing money at me to trade. Literally, I've attracted that type of individual. They, they, what, they trust me. Okay? But what have I done? I've just built myself up and I've practiced. I've practiced. Write this down. Repetition leads to your reputation. One more time. Repetition leads to your reputation. So go over this and over and over and over and over and you're going to be a very successful trader. You're not always going to win. You're not always going to win. But in the end, you shall win. Because you have to understand trading is about probabilities. Remember, I'm a series of trades trader. All right, cool, guys. Let's go back in time. Let's look for entries. I, want, I really want to focus on entries. We're going to finish in about 20 minutes time. So I want to make sure I give you value. Let's look for entries because I get a lot of messages, people saying, Kofi, I didn't know when to jump in. I didn't know. I didn't know when the right time was. Okay. Okay. I'm just looking for my charts for a good, a good setup. All right. And I'm doing this quick because obviously I can, I've done this for such a long time, I, I know when there's good setups. I can just see. Again, repetition needs to rep for reputation. All right. Guys, I'm all about empowering you guys to believe. Seriously, I, I, I really want you guys to believe that it's possible. It's so possible. It's so possible, guys. Like, literally, you can become a millionaire. Like, it's already done. You just don't believe you can. You don't have the right mindset. And I'm, guys, as a, I'm, I, I'm now a professional trader. The minute I'm trading for other people, I'm now professional, whether I like it or not. Okay, I'm now a professional trader, but I, what I had to learn is my mindset I had to think of it as a profession. Whereas a lot of us are taking this as a hobby. You take this as a hobby, you're going to get burned. You're getting value from what I'm saying. I'm talking to myself in this. Ah. <laughs> 
I can't see you guys in it, so I'm just right. So can you see? Can you see? I've got a floor zone, and I've got a ceiling zone. All right. So we're going to go back in time. And this is why it's good to upgrade your trade view account because you can with this red line, I can go back in time and see what happened. All right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's go back to here. All right. So imagine, guys, I have marked up my chart. Can you see where it's at? Yeah, I marked up my chart. This is the 25th of August. And these are my zones. So I've got floor zone, ceiling zone. So what I'm waiting for is the break of structure. Let me write this in the chat box so people are always messaging me. What does this mean? Okay, so if you see in my group chat, or anyone writes BOS, it means break of structure. So you're, well, I'm waiting for it to break this structure, and then I'm gonna show you my entry. So let's play it on the one hour. Right, let me go to 15 minutes, that was too quick. But imagine anyway, guys, imagine <clears throat> it's broken this structure. It's broken, the structure can we clearly see is a very strong bullish candle on the one hour broke but obviously i can see with this candle it retested all the way down so let me can it be only wick um yes it can but you have to observe the trade beforehand i've done this enough times to know when's a, a strong move and when it's a weak move just by watching market structure so i would say you have to just Demo it if you see a wick. Because if it's a tiny little wick, like a little tiny little pip, that's a joke. And you could li literally lose your money. So you have to just keep demoing it and seeing, okay, out of your ratios with the wicks, um, how many have won? So, broke off structure, all right? Then in the chat box, someone write, go to 15 minute chart. So you go to the 15 minute chart. Have you seen that? So you draw out your zones, right? Draw out your zones, and then you've gone to the 15 minute chart. I wanna be clear, because some people say, oh, can I go to the five? Yes, you can, but for my strategy, Kofi goes to the 15 minute chart. And I really wanna say it slowly because I get the same questions asked me all the time. So it breaks on the one hour you then go to the 15 minute chart. So now what I'm going to wait for, I'm gonna get my Fibonacci tool. And I've done another video about Fibonacci. So again, go through my videos, um, it'll break it down. But I'm gonna get the Fibonacci tool and I'm waiting for the retest candle. Jesse says, so you draw the zones, yes. Yeah, you draw the zones on the one, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's paramount, you draw your zones on the one hour. All right. So um, it breaks the structure in the one hour. Then you go down to the 15 minute. So now I'm looking for the retest candle. And in the chat box, please write this down because people get really confused with what a retest candle looks like. A retest, if you write the words down, simply means to go back. Yeah, it simply means to go back. Go back, that's retest, to go back. Because retest candles can look different. There's the common retest candle, but sometimes the same trade can retest. Like, this one's not really breaking it down, but I can see it's retested already. Look, let me show you already. This, this one, I might need to go and rewind on the 15 minute. But this candle has already retested. Look, if I... That candle already retested. Can you see? Let me highlight this. I want you to see. Look, it went up, but how did it get to the wick? How did that wick get in here? Who understands? 
Can you see this big bullish candle has gone this way? But how did it end up being in the zone? Because you have to understand open, high, low, close. You see this at the top? O H L C. Open, high, low, close. You have to understand candlestick patterns. So if someone can also put the candlestick Bible in this chat box or put it in the group chats, because people need to understand the basics. So what happens is it opened from here, it went up, it whipped off, and it closed here. And guess what? It opened here. I need to, I think I made my zones from top of body to top of wick. It looks like you do the whole body to this. I don't understand that. J uh, Jamie, miss me privately. Um, Cause I'm a bit confused with that one. But imagine, open, high, low, close. So it opened, that's the highest. It came down to the lowest and it closed. It closed here. Thank you, Lee. Guys, take that candlestick Bible. Right. But can you see it's wicked off? It, it had to come back. That's a retest. I want you to be clear, it's a retest. Kofi, I'm, I'm waiting for the retest candle. It's already happened, look. It retested, it went back. Retest simply means to go back. To go back. So you have to identify what a retest is. It means to go back. Sometimes there's a, there's a red candle, which I'm gonna show you. That's a retest. Sometimes it's the same candle, but it went back. It's a retest. Sometimes the next candle, but it went back. It's a retest. You've got to understand what the word retest looks like. Typically, now write the word typically. Typically, a retest will be an, the opposite candle. And I'm going to show you a retest candle, okay? But the word retest means to go back. So there's a retest and there's a retest candle. I hope that makes sense. Retest means to go back. Retest candle is the opposite. So this is white, my opposite is gonna be red. Does that make sense? Yeah, so look, if I can go back, let me go back onto the 15 minutes. Oh, I'm gonna move over. Let me go back. Oh, I think it was here. Um, the date was it 25th, 25th of August. I'm standing. Oh, thanks. I found it. I found it. Right. Let's stick on the 15 minute. Oh, Harry, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a retest candle. Okay, so imagine we're going back in time again. So we saw. When the one hour chart is broken, okay? You saw that, right? It broke on the one hour, went down to the 15. So now it, it went back down and retested. So if you don't follow my particular strategy, you could have got in here. That would have been your entry. Let me put a line there. Let me make it green. So I'm saying my brother teaches price trap and so does um, Lee Williams. So you don't have to do it like me. There's many variations. I'm just showing you how I do it. So the green line would be your entry because it broke the zone, it retested, and it's wicked off. So you could have got in here, 75,992. And I want to be clear, you could have got in here. But if you're following how I trade, I wouldn't have done that. Okay, so Christopher Derrick's strategy, you could get in on the 75,992 because it retested, it, it came back to the zone. But for Kofi, for me, I wait for a retest candle, typically, apart from GBP pairs, because that GBP is just mad. So what I'm doing, I'm waiting for the next red candle. All right, so let's forward it. Boom. You see that red candle? That is Kofi's retest candle. I hope you're getting a distinction between a retest and a retest candle because I get this all the time. You know, sometimes I feel like Christopher Derrick really starts getting upset and irate. <laughs> but that's why, you know, Pammy gave me the amazing idea to break this down, to really, really break it down so you guys get value. 
Yeah, so thank Pammy, all right? And um, yeah, I never got any of this help. I just, the thing is, I never got none of this help. I just watched him. So sometimes, guys, watch and stop talking. Just watch, 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 because you learn more, all right? But has the candle hit the zone? What are you talking about, bro? You can really see because of the colors. You talking about the red one? Because I haven't drawn out my fibs yet. I'm, I was just saying that's a Rita's candle. Yeah, so I haven't drawn out my fibs. I was just saying it's a retest candle. And I wanted to be clear what a retest is and a retest candle. And I think that's the best way to break it down. Retest is to go back and a retest candle is actually a candle. So I'm looking, I'm looking 99.9% .9 of the time for a retest candle. If it's GBP, sometimes I just get in because that moves too quick and it, it, it breaks and it retests with the same candle. Right, so you see what I've done and I hope that's clear. So now if anyone asks us in the group chat, you will be able to say, Kofi, a retest is go back and retest candle is something different. So you get your fibs out. Fibonacci, I love Fibonacci. The way the world is designed, it's just designed perfectly. Like, it's just crazy. It's, this is deep. Fibonacci, fibs is deep. Again, watch my, my other recordings to work out how to do it. I draw from the top of the retest candle, the wick. I mean, no, let me be clear. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I draw from the body. I used to draw from the wick. Okay, so in my previous videos, I would draw from the wick. Now, as I'm an evolving trader, because you do want to grow in time, want to be stretched, I found that I get better accuracies with the, the body. So I draw from the body. So as we can see, it's broken structure, BOS. I've waited for the retest candle. From the top of the retest candle, I draw my fibs down. Why? Because it's a bullish trend. You don't understand that? Watch my videos. I, from the top, I draw it down. So my entry is 78.6. So my entry is here. Let me highlight that. Let me make it dotted. So in actual fact, if you got in with the first retest, you would have got a better entry. All right. Let me make it blue. Oh, no. It needs to be white. Guys, I'm giving you my golden nuggets. I found this all out by myself through trial and error and, and losing a lot of money. Yeah. So my key fib level is 78.6. Oh, look at Ross. <laughs> Ross says that's another, that's another training. Has it come up to fill it in the imbalance of the red candle? That dropped down into the zone. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another training. Imbalance. I did a training last week about imbalance. That's another training, all right? But that's, guys, that's why it's good to learn how to trade, period. I, learn, I know how to trade, period. I look at smart money, I look at harmonics, I look at PTP, or price trap, and then it's just good. You get to see, you know what to do. So can you see? My entry would be 76.008. No ifs, buts, or maybe. Does that make sense? If it doesn't come to my 78.6, can really, wait, can really, can't really see it well, but is the red candle wick in the zone? No, it's not. Let me zoom in a little bit. Guys, take your time. I haven't told you. I've just said my entry will be 78.6. You guys are jumping ahead. You guys are excited. When I break it down, I break it down slowly, yeah? <laughs> so it hasn't entered the zone yet. So what I was saying is 78.6 is my preferred level. So write the word preferred. Francis said this, and Francis said, do not be a slave to your bias. 
And I love that because 78.6 is my preferred level, but sometimes I will get in at the 88.6 because 88.6, 78.6, 61.8, 38.2. I'll say it again, 88.6, 78.6, 61.8 or 38.2. You can get in all these levels. But I have made a rule for myself, 78.6 is my preferred level. And I want to be clear. But sometimes if I can see the trade is, is not really behaving itself, I will get in at the 88.6. So don't be a slave to your bias. And I'm saying that because I've, I've been on the charts for so long, I can tell when it's going to go in my direction. I can tell when it's not coming back. You know, and I'm not going to miss out on a trade simply because of two pips. It's just like literally, they went to get in at the right point. You risk somebody has a problem as well. As long as you want, there's not more than a risk to the biggest rewards in the world. Then it's a price of Yeah. So again, for the sake of two pips, Okay, I don't know who that is. I, I pray that, I pray all is well. Uh, I don't know who that is. Please send me your name. I pray all is well. Okay. Um, it will be in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Um, so that's my preferred level. That is my preferred level. But again, don't be a slave to your bias. For the sake of two pips, you don't want to miss out on 50 pip move. Yeah, but again, you have to be able to judge what you think this, the market is going to do. So let's see what happens next. All right. It came to between 88.6 and the 78.6. Me personally, with this type of trade, because it came out quick, I would have just got in. Yeah, it's like one pip away from my entry. How many times do I see? <laughs> how many times do I see people with the crying face emoji? Because they're like, "Oh my gosh!" Oh, okay, cool for you. All right, cool. Um, was this not a sell trade? No, it's not. I'm, I've gone back in time. I've gone back in time. This is the twenty fifth of August. Ketchup, what's your name? I need to know what your name is. Yeah, I've gone back in time, guys. This is not, this is not current. This is back in time. And that's why I've got the re reverse tool. Right, so guys, um, how many times have I seen a crying face emoji because you've missed your entry by one pip? So that's why I'm saying don't be a slave to your bias. But one thing I'm going to tell you, one secret nugget I'm going to tell you, and this is what I do religiously, my TP is always, always without fail, 20 pips from the 78.6. It's like a sniper. This entry level is so key. It's like, there's a, there's a certain word, I can't remember the word, but there's a certain word where it's just a, a key, in, it's, a, it's a key institutional level. Institutions mean the banks, the people that m make the markets move, all right? So 78.6 is a key institutional level. Now my secret source, yes, yeah, so Courtney's asking, even if you jump in from the 88.6, yes. Why yes, someone put a massive yes in the chat box. If you get in 10 pips away from the 78.6, your TP is still 20 pips from the 78.6. I have to be clear, not from where you jump in, it's from the 78.6. That's why people have lost trades and I'm like, guys, it hit my TP. Light bulb. <laughs> That's why, because a lot of times my trade can hit TP accurately and then reverse. And people are, are still waiting for TP and it, it, you've lost the trade because I don't know how I found it. God must have just given me the, the eyes to see, but literally. 78.6 is a key level. So let's see what happens next. 
it might reverse. You never know, but it will hit my TP. I promise you that. So let's go from let's let's um, get the ruler out from the seventy-eight point six. Measure twenty pips. Let's measure twenty pips. All right, twenty pips is here. So that's my TP. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, it's come back to the zone. Okay, so if I was patient, I'm being real. If I was patient, what did it do? It came back perfectly to 78.6. First of all, catch up. You've not told me your name. Secondly, let me finish and then I can answer. Because you're, <laughs> you're asking me questions that's pulling me away from... <laughs> What's your name? Let me let me know your name. Let me know your name so I, I can we can we can have a conversation offline. Because I, I really want to help you. Oh wait, I really sketch up. Oh, okay. Whose team are you on? Take my number, message me. I want to talk with you. I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to talk. Because I've and another thing, because what 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 happens is that you're you're moving from and I'm talking to catch up here, but I'm giving a nugget for everyone else. And this is why people miss out certain things. When Christopher Derrick was teaching, I wasn't talking, I was watching. And Christopher Derrick gets so irate because, <laughs> Christopher Derrick gets, got so irate because people weren't watching. They were talking, asking questions, and you can't be receiving unless you're studying. Who understands that? And again, this is psychological, and this will take your trade into another level. I never, like, when I first started trading, I had no one to help me. I had nobody to help me. Literally no one. And I went by myself to watch Christopher Derrick's videos, and religiously, I just watched. Didn't ask no questions. Didn't talk to him in the chat box. I watched, and I watched, and I watched, and I watched. And I repeated, and I repeated, and I repeated, and repeated. And therefore, it allowed me to work out my own version of trading. But what happens is, if you ask too many questions and not at the right and relevant time, you're gonna miss out. All right? So I hope that helps you catch up. And we're gonna talk afterwards so I can help you with the question that you've got. Because otherwise you're gonna be, um, it's called G-O-D, G.O.D, small g, goals or distractions. You don't wanna become a distraction. You don't wanna distract yourself from the thing that you're doing. And guys, I'm going deep with psychology because people don't realize they fail because of little things that they don't realize. So look, guys, if you understand what I've just said, put a seven in the chat box. If you, if you actually get what I, why I said about you have to be focused. You have to be focused. You have to be focused. Like some of you ask questions before... Some of you ask questions, and I was like, I haven't even got to that zone yet. And I'm, I'm, I'm a thoroughbred, so I really break it down slowly. All right. So look, if I was patient, it wicked off perfectly my 78.6. So that would be perfect entry for me. That will be pew pew. Yeah, that will be a sniper entry for me because my TP will be exactly 20 pips. So sometimes you can be a bit impatient, but guys, for the sake of two pips, I'm okay. And also I have a second trade, a twin trade. Or I, I twin trade. So um, one trade will just keep going into high heavens. So let's see what happens next. Let's see what happens next. Okay, drawdown. It went down a bit, back to the same entry as the previous green line. Let's see what happens next. So your experience in drawdown, it's normal. Still experience in drawdown. But the thing is, you see me, because of market structure, because I've seen this massive strong wick, you see that wick here? Let me zoom in. Because for me, I've seen that massive strong wick, price action, this book here, price action is telling me it's gonna be very hard to break this level. And this is what I'm looking for also, price action. This wick here gives me the great indication that it's gonna be very hard to break this level. Right, let's see what happens next. But again, guys, the, the market is random. But we're looking for higher probabilities. So let's see where, where it goes to. So we can see it's gone to the 61.8. Yeah, it wicked off there. 
That's another key psychological level. 61.8. If you want to wait, like I know Lee. Oh, so Pammy, I said, this long candlestick, this long wick shows me good sign of rejection. That where my cursor is, that massive wick shows me a good sign of rejection. Therefore, I believe it's not going to go further than here. That's why my stop losses are either underneath the 38.2 or beneath market structure, which would be here. All right. So let's have a look. Let's see what happens. It's still, it's still in drawdown. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Still in drawdown. So your stop loss can either be underneath the 38.2, a couple of pips, perhaps five pips, or you decide underneath market structure. So for me, my stop loss would probably be underneath this long wick, around about here. Let's see what happens. Or if not, be underneath this zone. All right, one of these two, just by looking at market structure. Let's see what happens anyway. It could be wrong, could be right. All right. It's whipped off nicely off the 38.2. That is a pew pew entry. I'm actually going to write that. Because you can be patient and wait for 38.2. That's your business. I, I don't mind drawdown. But with 38.2, you, most unlikely you're not going to see much drawdown. Where's the, where's the text? All right. So this is what you call a pew pew entry. That simply means sniper. That is, that is the perfect entry. Yeah? It's literally worked up to 38.2. Let's see what happens next. And guys, this is all called backtesting. All right, I'm now coming back to my entry. Yeah? This is what... It's playing games, playing games, playing games, playing games. But I believe it will hit my 20 pips. Bam! You see that? It played games for my entry, which was, where was my entry? It was here. See, I personally don't like these long trades. <laughs> I'm like, I want to get out of the trade quickly. But it took, oh my gosh, 17 hours. That's, that's too long for me. I would, I would have already jumped out of the trade. I would, I would be like, all right, cool. When it goes 10 pips, I'm taking it and bouncing. Because, because I'm that type of person, yeah, I, I, I just can't. I can't be waiting in that trade for too long. That's just me. So you have to identify your character. I'm like, okay, 10 pips and dip. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'll leave the, the, the smaller lot size to let it run. But as you can see, it hit my, my TP. Can you see what happened? Put five in the chat box. If you've just learned something, you've got value from this. Okay. Let me, let me um, show my face again. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Guys, I'm excited. You guys got value. I've recorded this as well, guys, all right? I've recorded this as, as well. Um, and I want to study this. I want to study this. I want to study this. This is how I make a lot of money. By a set repeat of price action patterns. That's all it is. I'm looking for the same patterns. Repeat, repeat, repeat. You know, repeat, repeat, repeat. And the funny thing is, I wanted to do this, and I don't do this, I don't do this too often, because I want people to focus on the educators. I'm, I'm, I'm one of you guys. Until I hit six figures, then I'm still humble. I'm still learning. 
I'm always a student, do you understand? When I hit six figures, I'm an educator. But what I wanna to say to every single person on this call is that, you see how I've broken it down? You see how I took my time? Some of you are running ahead, some of you are jumping, asking questions. I'm like, okay, wait, hold, hold. I take my time. What I did, I watched the videos again and 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 again. As I said, repetition, your repetition leads to your reputation. How serious are you gonna take this? This is the difference between you becoming a winning trader and a losing trader. This is the difference between you having to work a job for the rest of your life and not having to work a job. This is the difference between me making my family become financially free in a year. This is the difference between, this is what happened. People are now attracted to me. I'm bearing fruit. So people are always saying, Kof, Kof, trade for me. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not involved. People always, like, I mean, funny, money's being chucked at me. Seriously. All the time. I don't want to join the company, but Kofi trade for me. Nah, I'm not about that line. But let me tell you why this is happening. When I was losing money, no one cared. But what happened was I saw the vision, I saw the plan, and I, I put the grind in. So Chanel's asked me a question. If you get it at 30.2, you stay at 20 pip TP. No, so listen, listen, listen to this, listen to this. This is how deep it is. If I get in at 38.2, uh, my TP is still going to be from the 78.6. I've just got a beautiful entry. No worries, bro. This is recorded, although. I'm finishing now anyway. Hey, guys, thank you for all staying. You've done well. I've, I've given you value an hour and about 20 minutes. So guys are finishing now anyway. But guys, all I want to say is backtest. Upgrade your trading view. Go back in time and study. Go to the, go to the six-figure educators, Christopher Derrick, Manny Cadones, study. People that like Francis that are killing it, all they're doing is studying. Backtesting is key. Just keep trading. Keep repeating. Go over, go over, 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 over. That's what I'm going to say. So, guys, that's my strategy in a nutshell. All right. Go to the harmonic scanner, number one. Identify a good trade setup. Look for a lot of pips. Then mark up your zones. Look for break of structure. Look for retest or retest candle, 78.6. You jump in. You might see drawdown. Put your stop loss. 38.2, five pips below, or underneath previous market structure. You decide, all right? And then guys, wait for 20 pip TP. Or you can pip and dip. You can pip and dip. If, if it's stop loss, do you leave that pair alone? No, if I hit my stop loss, I go for the bottom zone. That's the beauty of this strategy. If you lose on one zone, you go for the second. Guys, I hope you got value. Put number seven in the chat box if you got value. Guys, thank you so much for staying on this call for so long. I hope I've honored you. I hope I've honored you. Thank you, Pammy. Keep, you know, guys, watch this video over and over again. Let's take it to the next level. Let us win. This time next year, six-figure earners. I've already decreed and declared 50. I don't know who's going to be a six-figure earner. So take it. I've spoken it out. Six-figure earner this time next year. Guys, I love you. Have a great evening. Oh, it's daytime. <laughs> Have a great day. Take care and God bless. Catch up, message me. Let's talk privately. I want to help you out. Yuri, let me send you that message as well. Yes, Rex. Bless, bless. Let me stop this recording.